Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. With me now is Casey Mabry of Blue Reef Livestock. Excuse me. Thank you so much for coming on this morning. We've got a lot of things to talk about. You and I were talking earlier this morning, um, getting right into it. The demand for beef on the producer side and consumer side really is strong. Yeah, it's uh, it's been really good here over the last uh, over the last couple of years for sure on the beef, on the demand side of it. Um, and we've obviously started to pick up some of that stuff as far as cattle go. Well, we, um, looking at the market, um, there's what are the main factors we're going to see that's going to kind of predict which way we're going to go for the rest of the year? You know, I'd say the biggest thing that we've got going on right now, obviously, we've got some, you know, big macro things going on that, uh, that impact our markets uh, indirectly, but then also start to impact us pretty directly. And that's the things going on uh, with Russia, Ukraine and those impacts there. Uh, higher grain prices, what's that going to do? Uh, how's that going to change behavior at the, uh, at the ranch level and at the feedlot level? But I think as, as we focus in on and start to think about what's the most important thing that we've got right now, that's kind of the uncontrollable uh, is what's going on with the weather. And so the drought, um, we're at a real pivotal time right now and it's March. Um, are we going to get these spring rains that are going to allow us to, you know, two things, expand the cow herd and allow the grass cattle to go to, the, uh, go to grass? Um, or are we going to force them all into the feedlot? All of those things mean uh, higher prices long term. Um, but those are the things that are probably in focus right now that we don't know or it's hard to predict. Um, it's obviously trying to predict the weather, which is probably one of the hardest <laughs> things to do for sure. Uh, but those are the things that are super important right now that we're trying to figure out. Well, and um, talking about um, risk management, that's something that you guys offer. Um, what are some of the strategies? What can producers do to stay ahead of, of those events? You know, the, the biggest thing that we're utilizing right now is this LRP or livestock risk protection insurance because it allows you to, to protect the floor price on the cattle. Um, and then when you look out there in the deferred contracts, uh, those are based off the futures market, which has been a big premium to, to the current cash market um, because there's a lot of optimism out there as far as uh, what's going to happen in the future. You know, if we start to expand this cow herd, feeder prices are going to obviously have to go higher. The market's got that in there, um, got that priced in there as, as far as the, the, uh, the curve goes. Um, so we're using livestock risk protection insurance because right now uh, in the current environment we're in, this market could go 20 or $30 higher. Um, and unfortunately it could go 20 or $30 lower if we continue to have that. All of this means longer or higher prices long-term, but to sit back and hope that the market gets there is not a really good strategy. Um, so we're working with really closely there, trying to put a floor price on uh, and allowing the, the upside to go as high as it wants to go. Well, and we have, we sell cattle here, you know, all year long, but we're quickly approaching our summer run. We've got our Gulf, Gulf Coast Classic coming up here next week. Uh, what can producers look forward to in the market here in the near future? You know, if we get these spring rains here pretty quick, this thing's explosive for sure. I think we got a recipe uh, that's sitting there where there's a lot of guys that are sitting out there, they're waiting to buy grass cattle because they're not sure if they're going to get the, the, you know, the, the spring forage uh, that's going to start to grow. Um, obviously, you've seen the fires that have started to impact uh, our local area here as well. Um, we start to get some spring, spring rains and the, the whole um, attitude around that uh, changes quickly. So um, that could, that could really change our prices there. Uh, so there should be a lot of optimism baked in. I think there's there's a lot of uh, potential for this thing to spring a lot higher. Well, and if producers are looking for solutions to to protect their, um, you know, their ranching operations, what website can they go to? Right? Uh, they can go to blueriefinc.com uh, or they can give us a call uh, and find that information there. Um, uh, we've got a great team of people that can work directly with the producers one-on-one, -on -one, Madeline Saunders, Dawson Dietrich, myself, or Scott Dreyer. Well, thank you so much, Casey, for coming on. When we come back, Charlie Cummings joins us to close the show. Stay with us.